Hi, welcome back to our channel, everyone. Today, we're going to compare three brands of frozen soup dumplings or shallambels. And we're gonna judge them based on four criteria, appearance, taste, texture, and value. Which ones are gonna be our favorites? We'll find out. We're even gonna do a blind taste test later in this video, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's introduce our contestants. All right, so the first competitor we have is Trader Joe's Steamed Pork and Ginger Soup Dumplings, and they could be found at all Trader Joe locations in the US. Next up, we have Cali Dumplings Organic Pork Soup Dumplings. Now, Cali Dumplings did send us a free bag of their soup dumplings to try out for this video. Thank you, Cali Dumplings. We're not sponsored by them or being compensated in any other way, and any thoughts of this will be our own, but extremely cool of them to send us something uh, when we reached out to them. So thank you, Cali Dumplings. All right, and for the third competitor, we have Mila, and Mila can be bought online and also at Target stores. Yeah, and I've heard that these pork soup dumplings can also be found in certain Bay Area locations at like Costco's. That's what we've heard at least. So we're gonna cook these all in the exact same way, um, 10 minutes in this bamboo steamer, and we're gonna try them out, starting with the Trader, Trader Joe's, Joe's dumplings. So are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, so first thoughts, um, they look kind of flat. They look like little hockey pucks. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like discs of shell and bell. Um, comes with a kind of plastic tray, which I can only assume is used if you're doing the microwave method, which we're not doing for this. But yeah, I guess we're gonna throw them in the steamer. And let's see how they taste. All right, 10 minutes are up and we're gonna take a look. Ooh, okay. All right, first impressions. Um, they do look a little deflated, um, but it does look like it has some juice inside though. Yeah, it, it looks like there's a decent amount of soup in these, yeah. which uh, I think you can tell seeing the frozen versions that they're actually pretty like, they're pretty big actually, it seems like. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad to see that there's a lot of soup in these. Okay, so I think it has like a good amount of meat and the skin is pretty chewy and very thin. Yeah, it's got a strong ginger flavor to it, which makes it kind of, kind of unique. Yeah. But otherwise, I'm a little surprised. Yeah, the texture is actually pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the thinnest skin available. These are a little thicker. Yeah. But I mean, that's just the nature of it, I guess, because they're frozen. Yeah. And the meat is a little bit dry but also because it's frozen, so that's expected. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not mad at them, though. Yeah. All right, so what would you give this uh, based on criteria? Okay, so for my first impression um, on appearance, I would give it a two. Oh, really? Because they look kind of deflated. They look kind of, I don't know, it doesn't look the greatest. They don't look like Shalom Val. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of agree. Um, out of five, I'd give it maybe like a three just because I was a little bit impressed with the size of them. And I do appreciate that they have, they made an attempt at making some folds in it, but obviously not the most amount of folds. Yeah. So for me, a three. Next is the texture. And in terms of texture, I was a little pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. that the texture was not as doughy and thick as I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Still though, I don't think it compares to uh, restaurant quality Shalom Bao. Yeah. Um, you know, because it is a frozen product, the skin is thicker, the meat is a little drier, so it kind of has that kind of crumbly texture to it. So in, te in texture, I would also I would give it a three again. Okay. Um, for texture, I would probably give it a three as well because I do appreciate how thin it is. Um, I did notice that after I ate like two of them, it was a little bit inconsistent. Like one tasted a little bit more soggy and then one tasted a little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't know, maybe that's just the way we cooked it. Yeah. But that's what I think. Okay. Yeah. Next is taste. Yeah. So taste, I would give it a, hmm. You know, this one's a tricky one because it depends if you like ginger or not, because it's yeah. very gingery and I don't mind ginger, so I would give it a three. I give it a two because okay. I don't think you should taste heavy ginger mm -hmm. when you eat shalong bao. I mean, the ginger should be from the dipping sauce that you make from it. Um, so I was a little disappointed by it. I don't taste a lot of the, you know, kind of pork. Yeah, the porky flavor. You know, the porky flavor. It's yeah. 
really heavy on the ginger. Okay. Um, I give it a two for, okay. for taste. I wasn't a huge fan of the taste. All right, so in terms of value, a uh, pack of six of these cost us $3.49 at our local Trader Joe's in Los Angeles. That comes out to roughly 58 cents per dumpling. Which is actually a pretty good price in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty good, especially compared to the ones that we're about to try uh, from Cali Dumpling and Mila. So in terms of value, I think we give it like a four. Like a four. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty good value overall. Yeah. And then I think for like a, like a nice meal, six dumplings is pretty good. It's pretty filling for like a decent meal. Yeah. So for like three, four bucks, it's pretty good. Beats the restaurant price for sure. Yeah. So that was Trader Joe's. Ready to move on to Cali next? All right. All right. They look not most consistent. Yeah, but the folds are there though. Yeah. You see the folds very, very clearly. Interesting, they each have like kind of a very pointed like tip. Yeah. There's like very pointy. Yeah, it looks like a little kiss almost. Hershey's kiss? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, these look pretty good. Grab some water ah. here. My skin broke already. <laughs> <laughs> that so, just shows how delicate it is then, right? Yeah, the skin immediately broke as I picked it up, but there's so much broth. Yeah, there's a lot of broth. Oh yeah. Mine. Look at that. Oh, it's dripping. It's dripping. Yeah. That's a lot of broth. It's right. like a spoonful for me. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Let's try it. Mm. Definitely more pork forward. Yeah, I think so too. Like. The soup is really flavorful, and there's a lot of it. Yeah. I did notice that the, the meat is kind of crumbly. Mm. Yeah. And it's not that big of a meatball, I'd say. Yeah. Overall, these Shaolin Bell are, they seem a little smaller than the one at Trader Joe's. Yeah, for sure. Well, actually, like, I think what we'll do is we'll weigh them at the end later, all three of them, just to see, like, how big each individual dumpling is, so we can just see which ones are actually going to be bigger than the others. But overall, you know, I think it's solid. Yeah, it's a pretty good yeah. chalumbo. And they look really good too. Yeah. Like if you served me these at a restaurant, I wouldn't know that they're frozen. Yeah. They're pretty good. All right, so what would you give the appearance? Um, for the appearance, I think I would give it a four mm, because yeah. I, I, I like the little, all the tiny folds in it. Yeah. And there's a lot of folds. And yeah. it almost looks like a restaurant quality. Yeah. Mm. These definitely like could fool me if you serve these at a restaurant, essentially, like I wouldn't know that these came from a bag of frozen dumplings. Yeah. I also give it a four in terms of appearance. They look, they look good. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're good looking uh, Shalom Bells. And next texture. is the texture. Um, for the texture, I'm gonna have to give it a two because I tried a couple of them and they were ripping as I was picking them up. And so all the broth was kind of spilling out already. But do you think that is a positive because that means the skin is very delicate? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You'd give it a two regardless? I, I think I would give it a two though. Okay. Because it was it was a bit annoying to pick up okay. for me. I give it I give it like a I'm just between a three and a four for the texture. Okay. Um, I like how thin and delicate the skin is. Um, but the pork is a little crumbly, I'd say. Yeah. Like it felt a little dry at its core. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I thought so too. I, I had a little, a little bit higher expectations of the pork. Yeah. I, I, I'd give it a three. I'd give it a three in terms of texture. Okay. That's fair. Taste? Taste? I give it a four. I give it a three. Okay. Yeah. Do you, you didn't like the taste? I, because I, I thought the meatball was a little bit dry and it, it needed that sauce that we prepared for it a little bit more than the Trader Joe one. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought the flavor was really good um, in these. I give it, I gave it a four because, you know, again, it just has kind of that like very pork forward and the soup was very flavorful. Yeah. And yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. Overall, pretty solid Shaolin Bao. All right. So in terms of value, this comes in a bag of 20 mm -hmm. for $16.95, which is a lot more than Trader Joe's. Yeah, so that comes out to 85 cents a dumpling. Yeah, it's kind of pricey. Yeah. Yeah, and that doesn't factor in the cost of shipping. Mm -hmm. So if you're unable to pick these up or find these at your local store, 
Shipping actually costs a flat rate of $12, mm -hmm. which even adds, adds even more to the cost. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of adds up. I don't know. So in terms of value, I don't know. What do you think? Overall, I think we would give it a three yeah. because it is pricier, but it is a step up in quality though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these are more premium shell and bow for sure. Um, they have better flavor, better texture, I feel, but I don't know if it justifies the quite a leap in the price that yeah. they are. If they are priced a few bucks cheaper, I'd say I give it a little bit more points in value. And I think it's a little bit smaller too, like portion size. Very true. Yeah. yeah. These seem smaller um, than the ones we just had at Pure Joe's. Yeah. So last but not least, Mila dumplings. Mila dumplings. Let's pick them up. All right, for our last contender, we have Mila soup dumplings. And let's see how these look. Easy to tear open. Huh. Okay. Okay. They have a lot of folds. Yeah. Very consistent looking. Yeah, very consistent. They even include the paper, the steamer paper inside, which is very thoughtful. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> but we have our own, so we don't really need it, but that's cool. Yeah, it's nice that they include it. Yeah. All right. Mila. <laughs> oh, they look really cute. Yeah, they're they're very small, but the folds are really large. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they run down the side of the dumpling. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah, they're like little cute dumplings. All right. Well, let's eat them. All right. It's a fair amount of broth in my. Yeah, that's quite a bit of soup. Yeah. Definitely more than Trader Joe's, but eh, maybe a little less than Cali Dumpling, just because these are smaller yeah. than, one, than the ones at Cali Dumpling. Mm -hmm. But let's try that soup let's first. Let's try the soup. Mmm. Wow. Wow. I, I, I like that flavor. That's very good. Yeah. Mmm. That's good. All right, rest of the let's dumpling. Let's try the rest of it. Not bad. Not bad at Not all. Not bad at That's all. Let's try good. another one. Yeah. I'm just gonna go for it. The whole thing. Even though it's burning hot. <sighs> That's very comparable to restaurant quality. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. And the skin is chewy, but not so thin where it's like bursting once I pick it up. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's the right balance of like delicateness and, and like, I guess, sturdiness. Yes. And the flavor. Wow. Mm. The flavor is really, really good. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it has the most flavor, I'd say, out of the three that we've had. It has that porky flavor. The broth has that like umami, the saltiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, overall, that's a solid shalambao. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about scoring. So first is the appearance. What do you think? So the appearance for me, I would give it a five. Wow. Like that's a beautiful shalambao. Even when it was frozen, it looked like this perfect, like perfectly made. Very symmetrical. Very symmetrical. Yeah. All the folds are there. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was expecting it to deflate a little bit yeah. after we cooked it. And it still looks beautiful. Yeah, they kept it shaped really well, actually. Yeah. Um, I'd also probably give it a five just because it does look really good. Um, like Shannon said, you know, the folds are really nicely symmetrically spaced. Yeah. Um, the it has like a perfect roundness when you take them out frozen. Mm -hmm. And then when you cook them, they actually retain that kind of like round shape, you know? Yeah. They don't deflate. They're not saggy. They're not like lopsided or anything. Like they're really aesthetic looking dumplings. Yeah. And like even the two that we have left here that's kind of sitting there, they still look really good. Yeah. 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 All right. So five for our appearance. Five for our appearance. Let's talk about texture. Texture, I would give it a four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's chewy, it's thin, and like you said earlier, it's just like, it has like the nice chew. Yeah. And you almost, it's like, you can't detect the skin. Yeah. Yeah. I give it maybe a four as well, mm -hmm. just because the ground pork in it has a little bit of crumble to it. I guess they all kind of had that. I don't know, just the nature of like the frozen yeah, meat. Yeah, may maybe you know? it's just because it's frozen. I think that's the biggest difference between these shallon bao, frozen shallon bao, and restaurant quality shallon bao. So, like, there's still that kind of like kind of dried, crumbly pork texture, which I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, texture was great. You know, the skin was great. Um, 
So yeah, a solid four. Mm -hmm. Taste. That's going to be a five for me because <laughs> I think it tastes, It. I mean, it's comparable to restaurant quality. That soup, that broth mm. is so flavorful. Sure. And the meat, it has that, you can see the scallions in it. You can see the different like ingredients. And overall, the flavor is just really good. Yeah, I like that. I like the, the little bit of greens in there. Just brightens it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, that soup has a lot of nice, like, flavor. It's well seasoned, like it's salty enough, but not like overly salty. And yeah, I also give it a five. So this is this one's a little bit complicated in terms of its pricing structure. So okay. normally a bag of 50 online, you can purchase for $40. Okay. Okay. That comes out to roughly 80 cents a dumpling. So okay. about on the same level as Cali, at least a few cents under yeah. Cali, but still in that kind of realm. Okay. So however, Mila Dumplings does offer a dumpling subscription plan right. where you can get uh, like buy three bags delivered to you every, you know, couple months or so, that gives you a little bit of savings. So for that, three bags is again, 150 dumplings, 50 dumplings per bag. That costs you $101.97. Okay. And that, that, that comes out to... 68 cents a yes. dumpling. 68 cents a dumpling. And that's actually comparable to Trader Joe's. Yeah. So, so. depending if you subscribe or not, it's either more Trader Joe's yeah. or more Cali. And so I it's don't very know, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of Mila now, so I wouldn't mind a subscription. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every couple of months, just get a bag and, you know, you pop it in your freezer and just save yeah. it. So, yeah. Um, in terms of value, uh, I mean, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say. Four, four yeah, maybe? Yeah, I think a four yeah. is fair. It really depends on whether or not you plan on having a regular supply of dumplings. Mm -hmm. um, if you are, then yeah, it's a good value. It is. If you're not and you want to try it, maybe at first it's not as good a value, but I think it tastes more to mix up for it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So good job, Mila good Dumplings. Job. All right, so we made a whole batch of uh, all the dumplings in one, yeah. and we're going to compare them now. First, before our blind taste test, we're going to weigh each of these individually just to see how big each of these are. So, start our Trader Joe's. And they do look like the biggest. They do look, the, look like the biggest, so... So 27 grams mm -hmm. for a Trader Joe's. Okay. And these are Cali. Surprisingly, it's a gram heavier than the Trader Joe's ones. Oh. 28 grams. Maybe it has more meat in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit heavier. Just, just barely, though. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And as expected, Mila is the smallest at 24 grams a dumpling, roughly. Yeah. So they're smaller. Yeah. So we're going to do a blind taste test. All right. I'm going to put it in your spoon. Okay. All right. Let's start with the first one here. Here you go. I'm going to put it in your hand. All right. <laughs> it's actually really scary to eat. <laughs> I yeah. pulled it. Okay. It's a little interesting, like, eating this. I mean, you can't see. It's like your <laughs> senses kind of get, like, more sensitive, yeah. I guess. Uh -huh. Like, and now I taste a little sweetness in this broth. Okay. Like, That's it's, interesting. It's a little sweet, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, you know. I mean, it's good. The pork's a little mushy. Mm hmm. And the skin's a little thick. And like I said, the broth is a little sweet, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very, like, like it's, it's salty. Okay. Not like overly salty, but it's got like salt in it for sure. Like it's got seasoning. Okay. It's flavorful. Yeah, it's flavorful. Okay. Mm. You got some of the broth? Yep. Am I, am I tripping or I taste peanuts in this? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's peanuts in it. It's got like a nutty taste. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not as uh, flavorful though as number two. So I gotta say my favorite was number two. Okay. Followed by three and one, then one. Okay. Yeah. Did I guess? Did I guess Mila? You did. <laughs> yeah, Mila. Yeah. I mean, it's so interesting because um, you definitely tell there's like a difference in the amount of seasoning mm -hmm. between, uh, I mean, Mila and Kelly, really. Yeah. And that's probably because Kelly Dumplings doesn't use MSG in their Shaolong Bao. Mm -hmm. um, and in Trader Joe's, like, kind of had like a sweeter broth, I felt like. Okay. Heavy in the ginger flavor, and it's, it's kind of sweet, though. It's a little weird. And honestly, like, the shape of it. I mean, I bit into it. And I knew because it was like a disc shape. Yeah, it's like bell. flat. It's, it's just like flat. it's like unusual. It's like a it's not a traditional shape. It yeah. doesn't scream shell and bell to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it, it just it didn't really do it for me. Okay. But yeah, Mila dumplings. Yeah, it's a clear winner. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was our comparison of three different shell and bell brands. Yeah, overall, what do you think? Um, overall, I think Mila is a clear winner in terms of restaurant quality. That comes pretty close. Yeah, I won our blind taste test. It got it the highest score among us. Yep. So I think that was our favorite of the three. But I mean, really, you can't go wrong with any of the ones that we tried here today. Yeah. You know, if you don't want to drive out, potentially wait in a line at a restaurant, sit down and eat, you have perfectly viable options here at home. We didn't have a bad dumpling here today. Yeah, no, we didn't. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a like. Subscribe to us for more content, it really helps us out. And let us know, would you try any of these brands? And which one would you try? But in the meantime, thanks for watching.